<clears throat> All right, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. Starting off up close and personal with this Russian Custom Mods, RCM Mods out of Russia. This is the Infinity Katana Design Mech Mod. Now, they're not exactly giving these away, and we'll talk about vape budget hands when we get back out to normal view, but these are... I mean, really incredibly high quality mech mods. This katana sitting right now with a 24 millimeter atomizer on there, and that's about as big as you can possibly put on here. I know that my video is dark, but it has to be dark because this is a white, white, shiny, bright, white mod. And it would just look washed out as fuck otherwise. But you can see, yeah, 24 millimeters, that's about the most you're gonna get on this because it's got this bevel that comes up right there. It's engraved along the top, hybrid 510 connection. So I don't know if I need to say this still, but I think I definitely should. Just make sure that when you're using a hybrid 510 connection on any mech mod, that you have a very, 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 protruding 510 pin. You want that 510 pin well past your threads for safety reasons. So this is a 21700 mech mod, but it can also fit or is supposed to be able to fit 18650s and 2700s with the addition of some adapters. This is also a constant contact mech mod, which isn't a term that I super love, but I'll show you the switch in a second. It's got open vent holes across the top. It's incredible incredibly well manufactured, incredibly well machined. I mean, this really does, to me, look like the hilt of a katana sword. It doesn't just come in white. Looking over at their website, you have this like cool gradient looking one. They have, uh, there's the white one, there's a white one, full solid brass full solid black. And they do have a few different designs of mech mods. This is the Katana design, but they also have Boosh. Look at that. The Predator design, the Bushido design, the Basilisk, which I think looks super dope, the Cryptek design, the Infinity Mordor, which just looks menacing as fuck. They do a twisty design as well. And look at that, free shipping worldwide. So back to the device. This is not a locking ring like I thought it was. I thought this was like a retro locking ring so that you could lock the switch. Such is not the case. This is simply here so that you can grip it to unscrew it. Now, there are very few threads down here, especially with a 21700 in there, so it's literally one twist and it's off. Boom, 21700. You can see the threading goes pretty deep in there and that is for the thread in adapters. It also comes in a very dope wooden box. Comes with an extra spring, which as far as I can tell is just a spare spring. It's not any more or less resistant than the one I've been using. I've swapped them out back and forth, literally cannot tell a difference, but you get a spare in there. And then these are your adapters. There's one for an 18650 and one for a 2700. The only problems that I've run into with this is the 2700 one doesn't really fit any of the 2700 batteries that I have. If I try to put these EFES in here, just gets stuck at the top. Same exact thing with the Golises. And the idea is you grab these, you thread them in, thread it in, thread it in, and now you have a smaller diameter sort of ring at the bottom that's going to hold your battery centered in place. Problem is, I just straight up cannot get a 2700 in there without, I mean, truly forcing it in there, which I don't want to do because uh, I don't want to mess up my battery wraps. Sorry, what did I say? Golisi? No, nah, this is a moly cell. You can run it upside down if you want to. Nope, you can't. You can't even run it upside down if you wanted to because it has to get past that ring. There's not enough thread for the switch to go on and your battery is not going to reach your hybrid 510 connection up here. So damn it, man, that's kind of a bummer if you wanted to use it with anything else other than a 21700. Or, I mean, an 18650. All my 18650s fit through this adapter ring, no problem. Yeah, look at that hot adapter action. Thread the adapter right in, 18650 goes right in, and when you use the 18650, you'll end up threading this off so that it reaches all the way down there. Guess it helps not to put the adapter in upside down. Now the 18650 can go in, now the switch can go in, now an atomizer can go on, 
There you go. Now it's firing with an 18650. But I'm going to put this back to 21700 mode. And we're going to take a look at this switch. Adapter comes out. You go away. You go away. Bye. All of the threads on this are real nice. Real super buttery smooth. It's a little bit of a struggle I've found to find the threads at the very beginning. But... They're real, all very smooth. And with a 21700, like I said, it's just a quick little twist off. There's the bottom of the switch and the whole switch comes out. Constant contact. This is constantly touching your battery. And when you press the button, there's two contacts internally that are gonna be touching. Nice and smooth, no crunching at all. This just unthreads off of here. You're gonna find a spring and then a contact. When you press the switch, that little plunger is going to come down, hit this, complete the circuit, fire your mech. That's what they mean by constant contact. What constant contact saves you is the arcing that you get sometimes on the bottom of your batteries from mech mods. The switch isn't traditionally coming up and hitting your battery every single time. It's staying snug against your battery and hitting a contact on the inside, which shouldn't get any arcing, but if it does get arc marks on there, can be replaced. So we're going to place the spring back on. We're going to put this back on. Put an RDA back on. <laughs> put a 21700 on the inside, drop our switch back in the housing, find the threads, boop, now it's together. Yeah, now it's firing. So yeah, that's really all there is to see up here with this Russian Custom Mods whited out Kitana. Gonna just start calling this the Storm Shadow. Fuck, that would have been such a cool name. Anyway, let's get back out to normal view and let's vape it. So yeah, this Katana mech mod just hits nice and hard. This is only a 0.2 round wire build in here, and it's still giving me nice, nice power, hitting really hard. And even though it's a 21700 with all the deep engravings on there, it's still really comfortable to hold. It doesn't feel too big because it's a 21700. In fact, the engravings on this, the sort of Katana engravings on this, give it a little bit of grip. One of my least favorite things in a mech mod is a clean you know super slick looking aesthetic and it's so clean and slick with no engravings on it that when you go to press the button it just whoop like slips right out of your hand such is not the case with this katana infinite katana mech mod it's nice and grippy stays in your hand the button throw on it is I don't even know how to describe it it's not really super firm it's not really super soft it's kind of in that creamy middle part of the curve where it's just a little bit of resistance. It's got a short, short little throw on it. You are kind of limited as to what you can put on here. 24 millimeter atomizers are gonna be about the maximum, but I'm kind of okay with that. If it were any bigger, it would fall into that maybe a little bit too big to be comfortable category, you know? Aesthetically, I just think it looks cool. I think all of the RCM mods look very cool. There's truly and honestly not much that I'm gonna be able to fault this on except for that. 2700 insert that you put on the inside like you saw in the up close I can't get any of my 2700s to kind of fit past that housing to fit in there properly it kind of bums me out I mean it's honestly to me not that big of a deal because I'm usually just run if I can run a 21700 in a mech mod I will run a 21700 in a mech mod all the machining is nice it's beautiful it's painted it's beautiful the threads are great and slidey and smooth. It's a mech mod, you know? I'm not even sure what else I can say about it other than it's a mech mod, uh, it's continuous contact, hits great. Now, they're not exactly giving these mech mods away, you know? So if we have to use our vape budget hands, yeah, you're, you're gonna need some vape budget hands. This Katana design runs between about 200 and 210 US dollars. And overall, their mods range from about 150 to 200 dollars. So you know, some vape budget hands. Honestly, for the price, you're getting an incredibly, incredibly, in my opinion, high quality mech mod. The designs are solid and unique. And if I'm being real honest, I'm kind of obsessed with that Lord of the Rings Mordor looking mech mod. That particular mech mod falls into the $175 range. So if we were to play the Aliens game where they come and take everything I have, or the FDA game, where they come and take everything I have, I got nothing left to vape, no mech mods. Is this, the infinite mods from RCM mods, something I'm gonna seek out and buy right away? I gotta tell you, 
after using this for this long, it's kind of gonna be at the top of my list. There's some great mech mods out there. Great mech mods out there. All the stuff that Stan Tenacious TX Vapes does, the Dreamer, the Keen, both great. I love my Kennedy mech mods, the Vindicator, probably my top tier mech mod. But if you want something that's a little bit cooler, a little bit more styly, RCM mods out of Russia are doing it right. So it might not be like the first mech mod that I seek out and buy right away, but they are going to be at the top of my list. The Basilisk maybe, and the Mordor maybe, right there, right at the top of my list. I will say it is a little bit obnoxious at times trying to find that threading on the bottom. There it is. Once you find it, it's great. These are machined out of pure copper. No, not pure copper. What the hell am I talking about? Brass. These are machined out of brass. 27 millimeters, machined out of brass, nickel plated contacts, hits nice and hard. Like I said, these are going to be kind of at the top of my list, towards the, towards the top of my list, I should say. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Links are not allowed in the description anymore. Thank you so much, YouTube. So you're going to have to use that Google Foo. But thank you guys, seriously, so much for watching. And remember, no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is still at least 95% less harmful for you than burning combustible tobacco cigarettes. <gasps> so yeah, absolutely, you guys. Let's keep on vaping.